Hello and welcome to Battle with the Best of Them. Dr. Yakman here. I'm going to go through my pictures from this last month. These are my results for April. So, I took a picture of that. Not too sure exactly why. Um, except for it has a heart. And so does the Rattata. The heart usually, or not usually, always means, for me, it means it's two clicks away from perfect. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, pictures mixed in here of uh, taking pictures of my buddy and stuff like that because I did a lot of stuff with uh, buddies and blah 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 they had a buddy week last last month um, take one snapshot of a grass type Pokemon I don't know why uh, and all these photo bombs for these two idiots right here <laughs> no shinies there of either one of them during that time uh, I incensed a, a, a dugong now, in this last uh, month, like, they've extended, uh, you know, incense times. They have um, done all kinds of crazy stuff. They've introduced um, uh, remote raiding, which is pretty nice. Uh, there have been people who have been trying to raid at, at ones they can't see by having Pokemon already in the gym. Like, let's say you got one downtown far away from you. A uh, gym that you took over or that you added a Pokemon to, um, you can still view that in your nearby, but you can't join those, unfortunately. Not not at this time, anyway. Um, this one was strange. Catch three dittos. Uh, it was during a time when they had a bunch of dittos out. Uh, ditto did not go shiny, though. So, whatever. Uh, the buddies that they had going were the ones that were ones that you had to walk, like Milotic, uh, or I should say Feeboss turns into Milotic when you um, have to walk it. Uh, same thing with Woobat. It's the first time Woobat's been in the wild. Up until then, he was only uh, part of the weekly field research breakthrough. Uh, Deuce Clops in the wild. That's nuts. bunch of pictures here they've introduced a lot of cool things for the quote-unquote stay-at-home version of pokemon go they've actually been making more money <laughs> in the game uh i you know i have an essential job quote-unquote so i've been still going out and things are starting to open up back back up in ohio here um uh hopefully she go back to work here um uh, by the middle of next month, or middle middle of this month, sorry, uh, May. Um, so that was more than a week, uh, month off of work. Uh, but I haven't really gotten word yet. All I know is, is that the the governor said that you know places like us would be okay to open about uh, the middle of the month. Larvitar, that's rare to find in the wild. I was doing this with the uh, flower crowns. Eevees, or Eeveelutions, I should say. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Pseudo Wudo. Heatmore would not show up. Uh, they changed some things with the hatching where they show the name of the Pokemon, of course. Um, and also when you evolve, it, it does that too. It shows, it shows the name kind of like dramatically. And some of the Pokemon, I don't know if it's because they haven't been in the cache recently. Uh, for the game or whatever, but they like sparkle and, and it almost makes it out to be like they're shiny and they're not. Uh, of course, when you have the new Pokemon with the uh, flower crowns and the hats and all that stuff, and then the first time that they show up, it also seems like it's shiny too because it sparkles a lot. First, it shows the Pokemon, then it shows them with a hat. So it's kind of goofy. Um, was, it's been a while since I've had zero in the <laughs> in there. I was just taking pictures to show people. Uh, I think the f first or second um, trade for this it ended up going lucky, and it's my only battle with the best of them one, so <laughs> I'll take it. Um, here was some text updates. I've been putting that in my blogger. Um, to these are these are things that people have found in the code. Um, Orange Heart is really good at that. Uh, Trails is also good at that. It's like Charles, but with the uh, R is in the wrong place. Um, and we knew up ahead of time that Volby would be going worldwide and would be um, shiny, as well as Illumice. I remember when Illumice first came out, 
And it was nuts because, like, I couldn't get a good one. And wait, wait till you see it when I show you my Pokemans. Um, uh, this was a pretty good box, I think. Um, it was during... I can't remember which event it was. They've been doing so much recently. This was an event where if you did it, and it, you see the time up here, it says 2.42. If you did it, it but I, I guess I started it before it ended. I think it was ended at 2. Um, but I started it before it ended. I was I was at work when I started it and then, you know, got home and finished the rest of them. And I got all five battles, and I'm like, okay, I am going to have a chance at catching a, uh, I think it was... It was something that was shiny possible. I want to say it was Meryl. Um, and yeah, when I went to go do it, it was not shiny. Or it, it wouldn't let me do it, basically. So I was kind of upset about that. Um, it only let me do one encounter, and it wasn't even uh, Meryl. It was like as if it, took, it went back to the way that it was before. And that really stunk because I spent a raid pass on it. But I did get five wins there. Um, these are just infographics. I put them all on the same folder as I'm scrolling through these. Another, uh, this is really cool. They added the ability to power up all the way or, you know, in bulk as well as get rid of Pokemon that are, um, event Pokemon in bulk. So that's nice too. Um, cause so many of those Pikachus with stupid hats are worthless. <laughs> Uh, but there's my perfect Lucario, and I've powered him up for the Ultra League, uh, keeping him underneath there. That's really nice. They show you this. They show you how much candy and Stardust is going to use to do it. They show you the, the bow over here, how much it grows. Um, didn't get him to level 40 because then he would be out of uh, Ultra League, so I just kept him under Ultra League. So that's pretty nice. Uh, then they, I think what had happened was they had they had screwed up naming and i was really upset about that i was like i can't even name my pokemon but th they brought it back and i was like oh so happy i think when they add new features they sacrifice features that's why the pokemon go plus has so many problems it's not because it has a problem or the program has a problem with it or the phone or anything like that i think what it is is they add new features and then they go, uh, you know, I'll theorize that on that on my speculation page. But when they add new features, that's the first thing that they sacrifice is the Pokemon Go Plus because they know that not as many people have that um, when you take into account how many active players there are. Uh, I use it all the time, or at least I try to, but uh, a couple updates ago, it wasn't even, it wasn't even, it, at least it had the courtesy of like when you clicked on to add it, it wouldn't even tell you that it was adding it. So <laughs> at least they have the courtesy to do that. Um, sometimes it'll like pretend like, oh, I can't find it, you know. Uh, I don't know why that's there. Uh, put that in the wrong folder, I guess. Um, shelters everywhere. Mm, I'm not too sure why I took a picture of this. And I'm not too sure why I took a picture of this, except for all the Psyducks everywhere. Uh, then they had incense events, or their gonna try to in introduce that i'm glad that they combined the spotlight hours together with the thursday things that they were doing all on tuesdays um both of them together it's an hour where a particular pokemon goes a spotlight right and then after that or during that they also have the uh, bonus which is like double candy for transfers or um double experience or some something goofy like that it's just nice to do something while you're out doing something so even if you've already got the shiny of it and you don't or you don't care about it you at least get a bonus and it's both together um i'm usually at game swap i'm usually working both days so i never hardly get to take advantage of those but there they go these this was a sunday and i was working at gordon foods <laughs> And uh, I did not really get to take advantage of that. Uh, they were supposed to add the stacking to the incense um, around this time, or they were talking about it. They, they messed it up. I think what they realized was when Community Day finally hit, uh, they did have a Community Day, which was awesome. Um, when it hit, there's uh, that's rare to find in the wild, the uh, Mascarin or whatever. The, I always forget what the name of it is. Um, I can't remember if that's a Shiny Bulbasaur or what. I think Shiny Bulbasaur is more blue. Whatever. 
uh, Furo in the wild. That's that's kind of rare. Um, what I was talking about before was they were adding stacking, but I think what had happened was they did it. They tried to do it before community day, but then they realized, oh crap. Um, the community day, the incense is lasting three hours. So if people stack that, they could have hours upon hours of um, incense time. And they, they, so they, they stacked on the side, but you'll see when I go through the um, community day photos. Uh, Volbeat finally available. That was awesome. There is Lugia. I switched. I finally became best buds with this EB. Uh, I'll tell you about someday when I when I do the evolves for EV. I'm going to do a special video about EV someday. Um, but I switched over to Lugia. It's maxed out, perfect, and now I'm trying to get it to level 41. When you get it to best friends it, it, or best buds, it does that. So he's gigantic though, so it's kind of hard to take pictures of him in the in the um. Wanted a shiny one, but then I got a perfect one. Uh, and that I was talking about Illumice before where they were all bad, and then here I am. I'm hatching two Volbeats in a row. Not joking. Two in a row. You see the time there. Um, that were perfect. It was it was sickening. Um, so there they are. 10-12, 10-12. Um, wish I'd had that kind of luck with Illumice in the beginning, but hold right there i did want a shiny of that but you know i was talking about something else here with the uh lugia uh i can't remember i go too fast uh i did f get i think the first trade for volbeat i got a lucky one and woobat i got one after a couple of trades traded about 50 joltics back and forth and i still have about 20 more to to trade um during that friend time, you know, I wanted a, a lucky one. You know, yellow ones with, with the lucky thing behind it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Not that I'm a lucky whore or anything like that. But uh, I was uh, practicing switching between a bunch of Pokemon. And these are all my Ultra League ones. The Meta, uh, Melmetal, Lugia, and my Rhyperior. They're all perfect. They're all maxed out. So I just want to get them even higher. Um... But look, there's the unhappy face. Now, I talk about this on my specula speculation page on my blogger. A lot of people don't know about this. But there's supposedly a new item, which they talked about like as if it was going to come on Community Day, but it didn't come. Except for, you know, they had the new item, which was uh, the Elite TM. But then another new item, I think that they were hinting at, but nothing happened with that, was the um, Choclo... Uh, Nana Berry, which, it, from my own speculation, is supposed to cheer Pokemon up. Now, this was a glitch, and I heard other people got it, and luckily I, I caught it before it went away, because it quickly went away. Um, but there's the unhappy face. There's also, uh, like, there's a plain face, and then there's two levels underneath. Uh, when you check the graphic out at, uh, on my, um, on my uh, speculation page on my blogger, you'll see it. But there's two underneath that are, like, less enthusiastic or even sad. <laughs> so you're supposed to, I think my speculation is, is that when you get a chocolate Nana Berry, it's supposed to raise their um, happiness level, I guess. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that. I could put Pokemon to sleep, I, you know, because the um, double or they have better effects for the uh, golden and silver uh, raspberry and uh, pineapple berry, respectively. The um, golden raspberry gives, uh, it's supposed to be easier to catch, even more easier to catch than with a regular raspberry. And the silver pineapple berry is supposed to give you more candy than even a regular pineapple berry does. So, there you go. But actually, it didn't. It ended up being. It was like the effectiveness of the pineapple berry plus the um, raspberry. So it makes it supposedly easier to catch and it gives you the effects of uh, pineapple berry. But whatever. Um, I had to go into my uh, library <laughs> uh, to take pictures of these gigantic Pokemon. These are my top Pokemon. Well, Slack King is higher than my Melmetal, but... Um, actually, he's equal, so I don't know why they have him above. But 
Um, that slacking is is kind of like worthless, but but anyways, uh, those are these are my top Pokemon, and uh, the ones with the stars by them, two stars by them, mean that they're perfect and maxed out. So, um, and speaking of perfect, I have three. The whole family, Lillipup, Herdier, and Stoutland, both perfect and also shiny, as you can see. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But uh, here they are in my library. Uh, I was practicing switching between them. If you do that multiple times, you can feed them multiple times, and then they get multiple hearts per day. Uh, I had plenty of berries, so I was doing that. Investigating Illusions, I was trying to take pictures of all of them. I put them on my infographics page on my... Um, uh, is. I'm still questionable on whether you can still complete it or not. I'm pretty sure you can't. I think it was only within community day time that you could complete it, even though you paid for it. Uh, but I don't know if you got to the last page, if like there was something extra that you could do to get to that or whatever, or next to the last page, because the last page actually was just click, 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 and then you get Alakazam. Um, this was when I was using the incense, and I was trying to stack another incense, and it wouldn't let me do it. Um, there's a herdier in the wild. That's rare. Uh, Abra Community Day. Oh, my goodness. Um, go to the Community Day preparation page on my blogger, and I will explain the madness that happened then. It was six hours long, but even if you split that in half, I still got more Pokemon than I would have uh, during any other... Community day. I thought Rhyperior was nuts. With I, I think I got twelve or thirteen. Um, I got thirty six um, Abras, and I didn't even get to a chance to do <laughs> all of these photo bombs. I only did like three of them because I took a picture of each of my buddies and I gave them all um, Poffins uh, so that they would max out. There's twenty hearts maxed out. Um, of course, up here you see he's not a, a great buddy yet. So, of course, he wasn't bringing me gifts, and I wasn't walking a buddy that day that was bringing gifts. But I heard some people were getting, like, 50 Pokeballs. The, the, the Pokemon would go and get that. I guess, it, again, that was for the stay-at-home edition. Like, if you want to catch a bunch of Abras while you're staying at home and you run out of balls, then that kind of sucks. Well, if you have your buddy, he'll go and fetch you balls. They were fetching them, like, 25, 50 at a time. It was nuts. Uh, but I wasn't doing that because I was out and about, actually participating in community day um i talk about that in on my blogger um and then i maxed him out and then i went on to mel or uh, riperior and i maxed him out too uh this was my first abra i think and it was like 15 to 15 <laughs> oh wow no that might not have been my first one i can't remember they, there were so many of them it was nuts uh, I even got a chance to visit a new place with, I think, all three of them. Maybe not him. Maybe not Rhyperior, but um, this was my lowest Abra. Uh, this was... I got 36, as you can see up here, shiny Abras. And I made a male and female. That's a, a new thing that I'm doing uh, for Community Day Pokemon, is I'm making a shiny of a male and a female. Uh, I had, like, 10 females... Uh, that one female that I showed you before, that was 15 to 15. That was the one that I ended up because it was two stars. It was my best female. Um, but this one was actually from field research. And I thought and I speculated on this on both my speculation page and my community day page that the investigating illusions would get, guarantee you a shiny Abra. It didn't. Everybody else that I talked to in the crew of people that I was uh, um, doing it with they didn't get it. I did, though. That was like my second shiny, and it was actually my best one. So I evolved that one all the way up. Um, I forgot. I think this was the next day or something. Oh, no. I was just showing my uh, my total XP. I'm close to going level 40 three times. Um, no eggs hatching. That's rare for me. <laughs> um, I almost got him to the point of uh great buds and then i caught a shiny volby like on the last day that they were spawning like crazy i wanted a shiny alumice too but then right after that i hatched a shiny alumice it was nuts um the hatch shows up before the other one but still that was nuts this one 
uh, I don't get, I didn't give him a poffin to do this. I was just walking him like crazy before because I'm at work here. I think I'm at the, in the toilet. <laughs> Too much information. Yep. Uh, it reverts back. If you notice, if he loses his excited state, this was no longer during the friend time, no longer during community day. So, you know, they, they, they lose their happiness quicker and when they revert, you lose this ability here, give your buddy a treat, unless you get him excited again, and then you can, but that, it's really hard to do that. It's basically, poffin is the best way to do that kind of thing. So, and that's rare to find in the wild. Um, Lugia, I love it because it's like an airplane above you, it's crazy. Um, this, Lugia brought me a transfer 10 Pokemon. And it actually was really good. These green border ones are the ones that the Pokemon bring you without even having to spend this spin a stop. I've been keeping up with spin and stops, but I on the Sunday that I, after Community Day, I screwed up and I I didn't do a catch because I was busy with Animal Crossing when I got home from work and I didn't do my field research. So like I'm way off. Um, usually I make it to where every Friday I, all three of them are my seven day streak, but whatever. Um, but you get an incense for that. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, there's a <laughs> Gliger and and a Zubat in the wild. That's nuts. Uh, then they brought out um, Darkrai back into raids. I did not get a shiny before. And then this is the throwback challenge for this week. I got these infographics up on my... Um, on my... Uh, infographics page here so no use looking at them here they're kind of crazy they're going to do all the month of may they're doing five weeks of stuff and it's crazy they're finally bringing in some galarian pokemon so including that zigzagoon i've been waiting for that so uh Whaley tough in the wild that's rare snorlax in the wild however during this kanto week we are seeing more kanto pokemon including their higher forms or evolutions so that's pretty cool uh, I somehow managed to get Bugia small here. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you uh, take pictures of your buddy, if you get zoom in close on the ground, you can actually uh, make it, you know, um, smaller. Uh, Firo in the wild. Um, right now, Delco is a hippopotamus nest. I went up there yesterday. These are pictures from yesterday, so don't worry. The end of the album is almost over. Um, let me see how much time I've already spent. 22 minutes. Dang, that's too long. Uh, but here they are, uh, uh, yesterday I went there to try to get a Venonat because I really love Venonat. Um, and this, you see this, this timer up here, right? You see that? That's the timer for my pre-existing, um, star piece. And I'm starting a new star piece from the items in a lobby while I'm at it, uh, uh, waiting for a raid to start. So that's, to me, that's pretty cool that you can stack from inside of there. Cause that was always a problem before. Like people were trying to rush to get into raids. Um, and they had to wait for other people to show up. And if people didn't line up just right, or, you know, then people would lose their chance to get, you know, double stardust or increase stardust, sorry, uh, from raids. Because, you know, their, their Stardust ran out in the middle of the raid. Now you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then here's the throwback challenge right now. Might as well go over that a little bit. I think I'm on, like, page four. I need to earn a candy walk with my buddy. I'm going to do that later on today. Uh, that's important. You're walking your best bud, and if they're a legendary like I've got, or mythical, or something that requires more... Um, steps for walking and that that step is going to take longer unless you switch pokemon now i'm going to switch it to a woobat i got a lucky one and one that's three clicks away from perfect um i'm going to switch it to a woobat because i still haven't evolved him yet so uh and that only takes one kilometer to get a candy from him so that's and one can or one kilometer to evolve them too so uh and then here's my uh thing again uh, here's the research task for that month. These were the investigating illusions tasks. Uh, again, I will have that on my, um, I just like to keep track of this kind of stuff. Even if they're, if you can't get them anymore, 
even if they're a time limit thing, I'm still going to have them up on my on my uh, infographics page just to keep track of those. Um, and then these are the research and tests. Now, yesterday I was doing a bunch of them that were like, it was something like Catch 7 Pokemon, and it didn't have a special note on it or anything, like as if it was a part of an event. It was it was a Pikachu, but it wasn't a Pikachu with the hat. It was just a regular Pikachu. So, that's crazy. And, yeah, I'm ready to go back to work. This, this is going to be my gear when I go back to work. I'm just joking. This is This is more of a mental thing, you know? It's like... I guess I'm kind of patronizing the people that are uh, putting on masks or whatever. Uh, if you want to, fine, cool, great, go ahead. But uh, I, I'm i doing it more for their benefit. If I end up wearing a mask or have to wear a mask at work, it is for their benefit, not for mine. Because not, not that I don't care about myself and not that I'm being schneidy or whatever, but there's a lot of people that think mentally that that is going to save their life. And it... I'm sure it helps some people, whatever, but I got a beard, so a face mask isn't really going to do much. But I do it, I, I, if I do it, it's going to be for the people, um, for their uh, reassurance, I guess, for them, not for me. So, <laughs> uh, And that's the last picture. So let's go into my um, blog again, like I was talking about. When you go to my blog, you go down to a Nintendo Agenda, you click on that, and it brings up all this stuff, which... I still need to work on this stuff and everything, but here's uh, my infographics page. And like I said before, these are all the things that are um, in effect in Pokemon Go right now or events that are coming up or, you know, past like little tips or whatever. I just like to keep them all in one place. Um, then I have organizing tips, which I need to organize. <laughs> Uh, community day preparation, like I said, I have uh, uh, long descriptors of before and after, like with my results and everything, and it was it was a fun time, let's just say that. Uh, 36, even if you, like I said, even if you cut that in half, the six hours down to three, that's 18, that's more than I've ever gotten before. And, uh, you know, I, I go over all that here. Um, that seems to be out of place there. But uh, I will be working on that, editing that. I also need to edit my uh, shiny checklist. So check out my um, Pokemon Go stuff at my um, on my uh, blogger. So there's that. I'll have a link in the description of this video. This is probably going to restart uh, the game because it has taken a while for me to get to this point. I am almost at 30 minutes. I really need to lower these down. I really don't know how because I'm too long-winded. Uh, I figure doing this once a month instead of at once a week is, is better, but uh, I don't know anybody who is going to sit through this and <laughs> listen to me go on and on. But maybe you can have it sometimes in the background, you know, like a, like a vlogcast or whatever. And if you hear something, me say something, and then you go, what is, what is he talking about? Then you can look at the actual pictures. So uh, I'm doing this, I guess... At this point, it's more for myself and more for archiving stuff. Uh, I mean, there's information out that I'm giving, but, you know, whatever. So, I am going to show you my Pokemans. Ooh, man, I need another shiny Geodude. That'd be cool to catch this on here. And I got plenty of shiny Psyducks through the past. Um... But yeah, I need to earn a candy walk on my buddy. It's in your today thing because it goes away. It says ends in five days. So this is one of those ones. The uh, investigating illusions for um, Giovanni's going away for a while too. They, they said something about blah, blah, blah. Uh, read the go live blog. Um, but yeah, I might as well get my stamp for today. Uh, but let's go through these here, shall we? Uh, these are the new Pikachus, and yes, from what I understand, they can be shiny. And the crazy thing is, is that if they are shiny, then not only will Pikachu be shiny, but his hat will be a shiny reflection of that Pokemon. So this is Charizard, so that would be a black Charizard hat. That's pretty cool, shiny. Uh, speaking of shinies, okay, we, we already know. I want nuts on uh, 
Aber Community Day, I think. Let me see here. I got another silly Bulbasaur. This was near the beginning of last month. Crap. It's going crazy. No, no, that was near the middle of last month. Let me see here. I think I covered this last video. No, I did not. Let's just go back some, shall we? Okay. Yeah, I had a real dry spell there. You were the 29th of last month all the way to the 7th of this month. And I got another Pidgey, and this was not during the Pidgey thing. I did not get any Pidgeys during that day. <laughs> uh, Turtwig, and I'm saving this for Community Day because it is a male. I need a, a male one. That's uh, And this is also a battle with the best of them. So, really nice. Hatch that one, I believe. No, I caught that one. Isn't that nuts? Uh, Meryl. Oh, man, I caught this on the bus. It was so awesome. Uh, this was the one that they had the Battle League thing where you had five encounters with it if you paid for the pass to do that. And I did it, and you saw the picture, but I didn't get encounters with it. And then, I, of course, I got a stupid hat Pikachu with, uh, that is shiny. Um, so here you go. It's the uh, flower hat. Uh, here is Nidoran Mail. It's funny, I traded for, I think, uh, two of them, and then I ended up getting two more later on. Although one of them was a lucky trade, and so I have a Nido King that's really high up, lucky, uh, shiny, so. Bulbasaur, another one. I have so many of those. Uh, first Abra, so many Abras. I'm not even going to go through all those. Come on. 36 of them. Nuts. Abra Community Day was nuts for me. And then near towards the end of this event, I got Volby. It, it sucks, but whatever. And then I got two Dark Cries, and it really stung because um, you can't trade these. Uh, I'm still saving one, like as if I'm going to trade it. But um, you can't trade these because uh, they're mythical. However, they're, they're, who knows, in the future they may open that back up. I mean, it's really unfair because the guy who was driving us around, he didn't get any. But um, Or no, he meant he wasn't driving at that point, but his friend was. But regardless, it was Critical Cody. He already had one. Then Sarah, my uh, Shiro Kami, she got one right after I got my first one, and then I got a second one. I was still only continuing to raid so that Green Onion Stick would get one, but as far as I know, he still doesn't have one. And then I got Chansey yesterday from uh, looking for Venonant, and I was not expecting that, so that was, that was pretty nice. Um, and then here's my Perfects. Four star, which I mark with, you know, of course, the star. Um, Oshawa, I wasn't even caring about that, but I got Snivy, Oshawa, I need a Tape perfect, so that when they go, uh, their community days, I'll save them for those. Um, Illumice and two Volbeat, and then, like I said, back to back Volbeat, and then the Illumice I got right after I got my, uh, shiny Volbeat, so that was nuts. They got a, a perfect Hapini, a perfect Charmander, that'll be good for when they do the community day recycle at the end of the month again it's or at the end of the year again so yeah those are my perfects and um trades uh i traded one of mine i think female because she had a female too and we were just seeing if it went lucky i think it'd be really cool to have a lucky one and plus i needed a better female so but didn't go lucky uh Illumice went lucky after several volby mobat went lucky right away um, I got a lucky Oshawa, so I am all ready for Oshawa community today. Um, some Woobats that actually ended up having good stats. And then this Woobat right here, I think, is the one that I'm going to walk. It's like four clicks away from perfect. I got one that's three, too, but I got enough to evolve both of them, so I'll wait for a better one. Um, yeah, so those were some trades recently. What else can be done? Perfect Shiny... No real new entries, I don't think. Uh, here's something that I uh, realized going through all my Pokemon to get rid of a bunch of them because I ran out of storage space. This is a female one, and this is the male one of Unpheasant. Isn't that nuts? Anyways, um, I didn't do any more Shadow of Purified ones. There's no real good distance ones, I don't think. Let me double check here. But I will go through my list again. Anybody who cares enough to watch. Here's the last one from K 
California, Ohio, California, California. This Bulbasaur was from Taking Forever. Another one from California, Ontario, California. That's weird. Okay, so let's go through all the ones that I'm willing to trade. These are more recent ones that I've caught. So, yeah, plenty of Abras to trade if you didn't get any. Uh, I actually am surprised. There was, uh, on Discord, I think I was the one that got the most that, that said anything. But there were some people who stayed at home and got 25 during the entire event. That's nuts, just staying at home. I, I you know, first half I walked, uh, you know, first hour I walked up there. That was actually the most productive hour. It was the first. I got like 10 in the first hour, so that was pretty nuts. Um, yeah. So those are, those are ones recently that are up for trade. Um, and yeah, so I uh, have gone through everything. Oh, wow, this ended up being too long. I'm going to say happy trails. Stay safe out there. Happy hunting. Um, there's so much Pokemon Go news out there. Uh, it's hard to keep up with. I'm just showing you what I've been doing in the game. Uh, I am planning on making some other videos. I've found out that some of, some friends and some people that, you know, come to my work um, have been all of a sudden starting to play because, you know, they've been quote-unquote quarantined, so they've been bored, I guess, or wanted something else to do or, you know, wanted something to do with their kids or this, this that, or the other. And so I might make a video about, like, beginners, um, but I want to make it short. I want to make it more structured, not like these end-of-the-month videos that are way too long. And speaking of which, I better go. Thanks for watching, and again, happy hunting out there. Stay safe.